So the first thing you got to do is you got to head over to thehancer.com and then you're going to click download and get free trial. From there, you're going to choose your host application, whether you want to download the plugin for DaVinci Resolve or whether you're going to download it for Premiere Pro, After Effects, kind of Final Cut Pro or Photoshop, Lightroom, Capture One. Next, you're going to choose whichever type of computer system you have, whether you have a Mac or Windows. I have a Windows computer, so I selected Windows. And then you're going to choose your particular Dehancer product. If you want Dehancer Pro or if you want Dehancer Film. Next, you're going to select Download or if you're doing the free trial, you can do get free trial, but this is a video for if you're trying to download the plugin itself and not only do the free trial. So from there, you'll notice that the download is already in progress. That is done. You're gonna notice that a new window will have opened and you're going to wanna click into where it says Dehancer Lightroom Installer V2-4-0. And then you're gonna notice a new window or box is open. It says compress zip folders. This application may depend on other compressed files in the folder, yada, yada, yada. So then you're gonna wanna click extract all so you can extract all the files from within that zipped folder. Then let it do its thing. Uh, a new window has opened up. It says Windows protected your PC. This is my first time downloading Dehancer, so it doesn't recognize what it is. So it's foreign to it. So that's why it's just trying to uh, alert me. It says running this app might put your PC at risk. So all you have to do is click more info and just click on run anyway. And then you're gonna wanna click next. You can read the license agreement, scroll down, make sure you understand everything and then click I accept the license, then hit next again, then click install and let it install. This takes a minute, so go ahead and eat a sandwich, have a snack. Make yourself something to drink, come back and it should be done. Then when it is, you can click finish. So now I'm just gonna click finish. And then I repeated the same exact step for the Dehancer photo plugin for Photoshop as well. Now keep in mind, if you do not need the plugin for Photoshop, you can skip this step and fast forward this part of the video. So the photo plugin is pretty much already installed on my computer for both Photoshop and Lightroom. And now I'm gonna show you how you can actually open it or launch the Hanser for the first time through Lightroom. So we're gonna start with Lightroom first. So basically I have Lightroom already opened up I'm, and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna click edit in. Now you're gonna notice that it's gonna say edit in Adobe Photoshop 2024 and then edit in other application. So you have to do one other step before you can actually launch or open Dehancer for the first time. So now I'm just gonna select edit in other application. So it says confirm there is no other external editor selected. This can be specified in, in the preferences window. Would you like to set that up now? You're gonna hit, you're gonna click preferences to set that up. So the preferences window have just opened and now you're gonna go and click external editing. You're gonna want to um, make sure that the file format is on TIFF, that the color space is sRGB, and that the bit depth is 16 bits. Now, if you are anyone who edits in both Lightroom and Photoshop like me, you definitely want to make sure you do this step and don't skip it because this will help you to edit with these exact settings. So in case you plan on doing more editing in Photoshop after you finish in Lightroom. So once that is done, you're going to want to click OK. Now let's actually try to launch Dehancer for the first time. So you're going to want to go in your files and you're going to want to go to where it says local disk C. And then you're going to want to hit or click on the program files folder and then click on Dehancer Lightroom plugin. And then you want to and then you're going to want to click Dehancer Lightroom application and that should launch Dehancer for the first time. So we're not quite done yet. There's still some more work to be done. Um, so you're gonna notice uh, it did open. However, 
you have to activate your license because as you can see up top it says Dehancer Photo V 2.40 is not activated so your license is not activated your film profiles are not uploaded you have to up you have to active first activate your license for the plugin itself and you get a security key for that and also you have to update your film profiles and you have to activate Dehancer itself so I'm gonna go ahead and click on activate Dehancer so you're gonna notice that it says um, Dehancer plugin not activated so we're not gonna log in or anything but what we're going to do is click on enter license key this is very important so you don't want to click into that there you're gonna want to type in your email that you used to register for your uh, account for Dehancer so you're gonna want to type in that email whatever email that is and then you're going to copy and paste your activation key which you get when you create an account and obviously buy a license for the plugin and to find your activation key all you have to do is go on the Dehancer website log into your account that you registered with and then when you click user profile you should be able to see your activation key and it actually has uh, enables you to copy the key so then you're going to copy and paste that activation key in the box and you're going to obviously click activate plugin so once you are done you can close out of that now to actually launch the enhancer you're going to want to go back to lightroom and then you're going to want to right click and click edit in and now you can click edit in dehancer lightroom.exe and then a new window will open up it will give you one of three options it says edit a copy with lightroom adjustments edit a copy or edit the original i always choose number one which is to edit a copy with lightroom adjustments and then you can click edit and that officially should launch dehancer So now we're just going to click on this symbol up top that looks like a gear and that is the settings. We're going to click into settings. So I know it's still saying license status not activated, but we're about to fix that right now. So now we can click on activate Dehancer and that should activate our Dehancer so it can finally work. And you will now see that the Dehancer plugin is officially activated. Now we can go ahead and click update film profiles and that will load all of the 63 different film profiles in Dehancer so that you can use them and start editing. So once that is done, you can click OK and give it a couple of minutes only because this is your first time launching Dehancer. This is your first time launching it. So you're going to need a few minutes for all the 63 different film profiles to load. And then you're pretty much done. That's pretty much it for this tutorial and you can go ahead and use Dehancer. And now if you want to launch the, the Dehancer photo plugin in Photoshop, all you have to do is go back to Lightroom and then right click, hit edit in, and then select open in photo either Adobe Photoshop or you could open it as a smart object. That's totally up to you. And it's pretty much the same exact thing, except you don't have to repeat all these other steps we already went through because at that point, after you already have it installed and you've launched it for the first time, it makes it that much easier. So once Photoshop opens up, you're going to go up top where it says filter and then you're going to go all the way down where it says Dehancer and then you're going to click where it says Dehancer Film and that will then open up the Dehancer Photo plugin once again, this time through Photoshop. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to learn more information about Dehancer plugin itself, definitely go back and check out my previous video right here.